just a little job on our Alfa Romeo Giulietta. Now this is something that happens to a lot of the multi-air engines and Chryslers and other Fiat's and Alphas. And that is the coolant reservoir cracks and explodes. So you wanna replace it before it does that and leaves you stranded. You can see here, see that? Some pressure cracks are developing. So um, this probably doesn't have much life left and it's kind of, you know, compared to the new one, you can see how dark it is compared to the nice white. Not hard to do, it's just got some factory bloody hose clamps that are going to be a pain in the butt, but only one bolt holds it on right there. So uh, let's pull that old one off, we'll drain a bit of fluid, and replace it with the brand new one. So we'll start by removing the fluid, so we'll just, I got a this plastic tubing here, it's actually from our fish tank. Now the new one comes with a new cap, which is cool, so we don't need that anymore, but we'll put it aside, and we'll just put in the hose and do what you want to do to start the siphon. Um, this is poisonous, so don't swallow it. Right down in the bottom and get it all out. Well, as much as you can. Well, we got a lot of it out. There's still some down in the bottom. We'll uh, we'll just tip that out in a second once we unbolt it. Of course, this is everyone's favorite, the 10 millimeter. Just it's barely on there. It's only in plastic, but there is a little rubber up, up metal grommet inside. Take that off. Set it aside where it's not going to get lost. And now this is loose it's got a peg on the bottom where is that peg put that back on keep it from splashing oh there's another one i thought there was only one okay yeah there's still a, there is a rubber grommet underneath but it's not held in there very hard okay now that we've got that off, we'll start wiggling these lines off and we'll use that to, uh, to drain out the rest of the fluid so it doesn't go everywhere. We want to get them all off the best we can. There's a hose clamp. This big hose here has a clamp on it. Um, I don't know if we're going to have to undo that, but I don't think it's hard to undo anyway. It's just going to be a lift up. There we go. Lift it up and it's off. Okay, so that's pretty loose. There's not much fluid in there, but we will drain that last little bit out so it doesn't go all over the place. These little factory hose clamps look really fun. So we haven't done it before. I think you just go in and with a screwed flathead and just pry away without trying to stick the screwdriver to my hand. Might take a little while, but we'll get there. Several song-filled hours later. Anyone knows a secret to this? Please tell me in the comments. I'll probably have it done by then, but I'm sure there's a really quick, easy way to do this that I'm not working out how to do. Ah, there we go. Yeah, sweet. I just popped it up. This was a little... I'll show you. That part there hooks over this part here. So if you get that up, it opens. All right, well, that's one off. We'll try to leave these lines higher than the engine so they don't drain back or they leak everywhere.
So I just got a clean drink bottle and I'm gonna put it down here. Undo this. Bit of cool. And there we go. See if I can drain the rest out this way. Well, we spilt some, so kind of thought that was going to happen. We'll have to wash everything down later. Easy enough. Oh, there we go. For now, in case it drains out anymore. Okay, now we're gonna do this one big one here. Oh, that's way easier. That big one, nice and easy. Now the big one has a notch in it, so it sh shows how far it's got to go up. Okay, old one out. Let's get some hose clamps on these lines and get the new one in place. Yeah, the new bottle comes with these little red caps you gotta remove. And then we'll position it here for this big hose first. I said there's a notch on it. You can see that right there. Uh, right in the middle there, there's a notch and there's a notch in the hose. So line those up so it's all the way in. Okay, then we'll attach this line. Okay, they're nice and easy just to push fit on. We'll get these clamps lined up. They actually have markings on them of where they, on the hoses of where they need to be. Now this one's got actually has metal inside the plastic uh, overflow which is pretty neat so that'll be we hold a bit more pressure than the big one so we'll definitely clamp that one up a little bit tighter all 
Okay. Those two are done. Let's put it back on the bump underneath. That's it. Just pushes in. We got our bolts here. I've been worried about this ever since I bought the car. It's a known, it's a known thing to go on them, and I've replaced, you know, part the timing belt and water pump. And uh, yeah, this was the last piece of the puzzle there. And this is all, all the usual suspects that go on these cars is now replaced, which is cool. One more hose, this little one. Again, there's markings on the hose of where this needs to be, so we'll just Everything is nice and tight. We'll just put this back in its clip down the bottom here. That's nice and easy. Okay, now we did just change the flu some of this coolant with the water pump, so it's new, nice and new. Pour it back in. It'll be down a little bit because we did lose some. And we're gonna have to burp the system a little bit, but we'll just let it run for a few minutes so the thermostat opens. And we'll see how much down and top it up with some new new coolant. Okay, we'll just do it to the max line now. Obviously we got more to go in, but we'll just let it burp and then we'll clean up all the stuff we've spilt. We've run the car for a bit, took it for a little drive. That's it. We're topped up on the max line. Lids on, we checked the hose clamps. They're all still tight. Look, it, it rinsed down the spilt coolant. Um, that was one of the easiest things I've ever done on a car. It was uh, the, probably the hardest part of the whole thing was taking off those factory clamps and that's not that hard so easy <laughs>